What's going on everybody? My name is Aaron Blasey from The Fall Podcast and I also work with Helix Broadheads. Today I want to talk to you about hunting October. I break it down into three different phases and October is one of those times that I really like to hunt and really get after a deer. And where I come from in Michigan in a high pressured area, there's some things that uh, I've really honed in on over the last decade that really work for me and I've been able to be pretty successful in October. All right, so phase one is October 1 through October 10. So a couple bullet points, very food based for me. So I'm trying to find the mass. I'm, it's either acorns or fruit trees right now. This year are acorns, the red oaks are just everywhere. So anything like that or fruit trees, apple trees are loaded this year. That is something I'm gonna hone in on. And uh, also scrapes, scrapes on the edge of cover or scrapes you know, in an area, transition area from bed to food are key. I try to get as tight to bedding as I can without being detected. And uh, usually if I can plop a scrape there or there is a scrape there, I'm getting deer hitting those like crazy in October, even early October. So. That is a couple things that I do just to really hone in on early October, this first phase. I usually don't hunt mornings um, and I am using my glass a lot. I don't hunt mornings, but I do glass every morning. If I can put a deer to bed, if I can see a buck going into a piece of timber that I can hunt and I have scouted that before and I know where all the little bedding pockets are or bedding areas, I can backdoor them that night, get in there and I've been successful doing that. So first phase, October, that's what I like to hone in on. And the lastly, I don't try to get too rammy. I don't go in there and, and hunt just to hunt. If the conditions aren't right, whether it's a wind direction or if it's 80 degrees or you know, I just don't have really good intel on a deer, I'm not just gonna go hope hunt and get in there. I don't wanna get too rammy and blow the situation for myself for the rest of the fall. So next is phase two for me. So October 11th through October 20th is becoming my favorite time to, to hunt. A lot of people that might come to a surprise because it's quote unquote the October law. Now for me, I've killed a lot of deer in this time frame, particularly on October 13th. My whole thing is October 12th through the 15th, that time frame right there to give you even micro with it is really key if I can get a front or some precipitation. The last two years I've killed a buck in Illinois and one in Michigan on October 13th because of precipitation. If I can get in the tree while it's still raining and I know it's gonna stop before dark, that is key. And that's how I've killed these last two bucks over the last two years. The, the rain, as it stops, it just gets these deer up quick and uh, gets them around in daylight. They wanna move, they wanna kinda dry off, they wanna get up and just kinda mingle and, and, and feed. So I really like to hone in on the fronts, the precipitation. Also, I like to, to hunt historical sign. Uh, I have historical scrapes. I have one in particular, it's on an inside corner and uh, it's been there for seven years, and I have a shooter buck for the last seven years, in that four to five day window, a shooter buck has hit that in the morning, you know, late morning, around 10 to noon. I know it's a really odd time frame, but I think around this time, I think the pressure of other hunters start kicking deer around, and I think deer start kind of branching out a little bit, and that's when you get a new deer that might possibly come in the area. When I do get that new deer, he is going to stay there for two to three days. So I have to go now. If you can get that info now, whether that's via trail cam, via that's glassing, anything like that, you got to go now. Uh, that has worked for me the last two years and it's worked for me in the past. So those are a couple things right there on that phase two that I really like to hone in on. The second or the third one, I guess I should, I should say is I still am not really hunting mornings unless I have hard and fast data that I need to be in there. So I'm still glassing every morning that I can because like I said, I'm an ag, open ag country, I can glass everywhere. So glass, if I can put a deer to bed, I will go in there and hunt him and I will hunt him midday. So that's phase two, that's what I like to hone on and what works for me. And lastly, phase three, October 21 through October 31st. This one probably is not gonna be much different from anybody else's phase three if you have three phases. This is literally my favorite time to hunt. Uh, it is when I can see the biggest deer in the area up on his feet in daylight. I like to start honing back in on does. And you could be camping out on food plots, you could be camping on food sources, acorn trees that are dropping, mass fruit, anything like that. I like to try to find the does because these bucks are out and they're moving. They're looking for the first receptive doe. I'm honing in on the does first and foremost. I will start hunting mornings. If I get a good cold front come in, you bet your butt I'm gonna be in the tree. And then I do not wanna overlook 
seeing a deer in a field driving around and spotting and stalking. The last two years I've killed bucks that way as well. Finding a deer you know, in a field that might be bedded up for the day on the edge of a, a crop field, getting in there and killing them. Last year I killed a really good deer here in Michigan, October 21st that was bedded up on the edge of a field in some shade and I got in on him and killed him at 12:30 in the afternoon. It is just one of those things that don't overlook that. I, you know, I have a young family. You know, I have a young daughter that has to go to school every day. I've got to take her. You know, so if I have to hunt midday in October or whenever, I'm going to take that time to do it. So really maximize the time that uh, you're allotted. A couple other things is, you know, start sitting in those pinch points and those those funnels where the deer are going to be funneling through. But, uh, you know, my biggest thing and what works for me, it might not work for you, but it works for me is honing in on those does and don't overlook midday. Really don't overlook midday because the bucks are moving and they're moving a lot because they're trying to find that first receptive doe. So those are my phases in a nutshell. That's what's worked for me in the past and still works for me now. Uh, hopefully that makes you guys successful. Thank you for checking out this video and thank you for supporting Helix Broadheads. My name is Aaron Blicey with the Fall Podcast. Good luck this fall and uh, get after those bucks.